Hey, come on guys, let's play! Hey, what's up, Rock Fluck? This is the Master Gamer, RockOx64, welcoming you to my next Let's Play project. I know this is not quite what you were expecting, but... Um... The Golden Sun was just not turning out the way I wanted it to, sadly. Uh, there were some recording errors, so... Until then, hopefully... By the time I get through with this, it's just going to be like a filler project. Hopefully by the time I get through with that, I will, uh... I will have, you know, the new computer, and hopefully that'll fix the issue. So, we're going to be Rock. This is Pokemon TCG. For the Game Boy Color. Rock is crazy about Pokemon and Pokemon card collecting! Hoorah! One day, Rock heard a rumor. The legendary Pokemon cards, the extremely rare and powerful cards held by Pokemon Trading Card Game's greatest players, the Grandmasters, are searching for one to inherit the legend. Ooh, sounds exciting. Dreaming of inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards, Rock visits the Pokemon card researcher, Dr. Mason. So he apparently started out in the dome, and now we're going here to the Mason Laboratory. So this guy's like Professor Oak. Oh, why the rush, Rock? What? You want to learn how to play the Pokemon trading card game? So you two finally want to start playing the card game? Well, dueling is more fun than just collecting cards. First, you should try playing with a practice deck. Here, I'll give you this deck. And now you need an opponent. Hey, Sam, play with him for a while. Yes, Dr. Mason. Hello, Rock. Okay, let's give it a try. Hey, Rock, hurry and come here! First, ask Sam the basics of the game. Okay, Rock, what do you want to ask about? I have nothing to ask. To be fair, because, well, a lot of you should have played the Pokemon trading card game, and you should know how this works. I'm just going to assume that. Is that all? Yes. They say that actions speak louder than words, so let's play a game. Since this is your first time, just try to learn the basic steps. I'll be coaching you, so follow my advice. If you don't do as I say, we won't be able to proceed. It might be easier if you read the Pokemon trading card game instruction booklet while we play. Okay then, let's start your practice game. Tech Sam. Sam's practice deck. Since this is just practice, do not shuffle. We'll draw seven cards. Hooray for scripted stuff. Choose a basic Pokemon to place. Yeah, you, know, you can only choose basic Pokemon as the active Pokemon. So the little diamond thing means it's basic. For the practice duel, choose Goldeen, okay. And it was placed. Arena, you could choose up to five basic Pokemon to place on the bench. You switch pitch Pokemon with the active Pokemon. Only basics can be placed on the bench. So in this case, we'll use our Staryu. Staryu level 15 on the bench. If you have no Pokemon to put on the bench, press the B button to finish. Please place two prizes. Point will be tossed to the side. If heads, I will play first. And it's always like that. So I play first. Draw a card. We have a water energy. That command, you need to attach energy cards to your Pokemon. Choose cards from the menu. Select water energy. Choose active. Press A. Blog to be attached. And attack it with the attack command. So what we do? Hand. As you can see, we have a couple of various energies. Want to use this water type energy? Place it on a Goldeen. And now Goldeen can use its horn attack. And you see it took 10 damage, so it gets a damage counter on it. Draw a card, Sam. Sam attached to fighting energy. Chop low kick. Ow! 
I take out half of our health in one hit. So we draw a card, we get another water energy. Building's gonna get knocked out so we can evolve it. This is from 40 to 70. It doesn't have enough energy to use waterfalls, we can attach a psychic card. If you see a little star symbol like that, that's a that means like colorless or any as far as energy, it means any card. So we're gonna keep the water energy card for a Pokemon. Yeah. Okay, so hand, what we wanna do is we wanna take this psychic energy. Oh, crap. First, as you can see, Seeking has a horn attack of its own and also gets to use a waterfall if we have a water energy and any other type of basic energy card attached to it. So we're going to play that onto our Goldeen, and that evolves it. Now we attach the Psychic Energy. Now we can attack with Waterfall. And it's going to be Sam's turn. Find Rattata, Rattata on the bench. It's a Fighting Energy. Ow. Woo, water energy. See, he's got enough energy, so we don't need to touch any more. And we want to get our bench Pokemon ready for battle. Okay. So we're going to attach a water energy to star you. Attack Machop with Horn Attack. And as you can see, once its HP is full, it gets KO'd. We get to draw one of our prize cards. And Sam gets his right at top. The active. Oh! Crap, it's fall to eradicate. Now has a lightning and a fighting energy. It's gonna KO us next turn. Unless, if I remember correctly... Oh, hi, Drowsy. Uh, when all of our Pokémon are knocked out and there are no Pokémon on our bench, we lose. And we also lose if our opponent draws all of their our, their prizes. Okay. So we're going to play our Drowsy. Give it a water energy. And then we attack with Waterfall. I'm not voicing all the tutorial stuff because, well, that would just be a hassle. Bye, guys. Why do you keep attaching energy to eradicate? You're gonna lose all those energies. When and draw the prize, so now we're down to 1-1. One, one. And when we get knocked out, we choose a bench Pokemon to replace it. So if we press select... Yeah, we can see the Splat... Let's play Staryu here. It's our turn, we draw a potion. Get Staryu ready to use Staryu's attack command when it evolves. So we're going to attach water energy and then attack it with Slap. If they're evolving, it's going to be very pointless since we're going to win. Chuck's on the bench. Finding energy to it. Oh, he retreated. Okay. Which is essentially like, uh, which is essentially like switching out and the, the actual game. Go 
Destroy card and it's seeking. Yeah. Ever start you with trainer card? Potion. So what we're gonna do? Use this potion. That'll recover 20 damage. Gonna give it another water energy. And then we attack. Claw. High low kick. And there's Starmate. Big surprise. Wow, we finally drew it! Script bastards. Now we play. And Starfreeze. And it's heads, so we paralyzed him. He has to roll, he has to flip a coin to see if he's going to be able to move next turn. I think. Question mark. Attach the fighting energy. Finish with that attack. Um, oh yeah, you can't attack with their parallel. Draw a card. Water energy. Your opponent not having any bench cards, any cards on their, any Pokemon on their bench, or by taking all the prizes. some of his cards. Now we get to choose Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur deck. I'm going Charmander and friends here. Yes. Yay! We have 30 cards. Full of many different people. Card clubs are people playing at the clubs. Like, or to try building a new deck. You can see we have two Charmanders, one Charmeleon, one Charizard, a Growl two Growlis and Arcanine, two Ponytas and one Magmar, two Pikachus, one Raichu, two Magnemites, one Magneton, and a Zapdos. Ooh, we have a Zapdos. Two Diglets, a Dugtrio, a Machop, and a Macho, two Rattatas, a Raticate, and a Meow. Professor Oak, two Bill Cards, one Switch, one Computer Search, one Plus Power, two Potions, two Full Heals. And fire energies, eight lightning energies, six fighting energies. Oh god, I've got to change this speed set. Message speed. Eight clubs, the Fighting Water, Lightning Grass, Psychic Fire, Rock, and Science clubs. These cards that are specific to that club. So, we've been at this for 15 minutes. The first place I'm gonna go is over here at the Psychic Club. Oh. This is our rival. His name is Ronald. Well, getting the Psychic Medal wasn't that hard. If I keep this up, I should be able to get the Legendary Pokemon cards. What? It's you, Rock! What are you doing? Huh? That's a deck, are, are you trying to get the Legendary Pokemon cards? 
Yes. What? I can't believe it. You, the legendary Pokemon cards? <laughs> Don't make me laugh, even though you already did. Alright, listen up, I'll teach you what it's about. To have the legendary Pokemon cards, you must defeat the eight club masters and get the eight medals. AKA defeat the gym leaders and get their badges. Then you have to go to Pokemon Dome and defeat all four of the Grandmasters there. AKA go to the Pokemon League and beat the Elite Four. There's no way you can do it! You might as well just give up and go home. AKA this guy's Gary motherfucking Oak. Because the legendary Pokemon cards are going to be mine. I already won the first medal. See you, Rock! <laughs> So yeah, guys, I'm going to end it off here. Next episode, we're going to challenge our first club. I'm probably just going to keep it to one club per video. And hopefully this will tide over until I can get Golden Sun out. So... I'm going to save the diary. Keep the diary as basically our save. So guys, this has been RockHawk64 bringing you Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. In the next episode, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go beat some psychic users and hopefully get some psychic cards, because that's kind of my winning strat is psychic and fire kind of fix thing. So just remember, guys, have fun with life and enjoy it too. I'll catch you on the next episode. Until then, peace out.